Hi, Ray Rice. Hi, Riley Ray. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, baby girl. Hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Brandy, and today is all about doing the things that we have been putting off. This is the longest I have ever had my Christmas decorations up, and we also had a little birthday party for Mackenzie when my family was all up from Florida, so I need to take down, well, what she is now calling her birthday room. Apparently, I ruined her life by taking down her birthday room. So many crocodile tears when she saw it the next day. But today we are going to be working on taking down the Christmas tree. I'm going to be redoing my organization of all of my Christmas stuff. So I will walk you guys through that. And then we are just going to work on getting the house put back together, getting it set up for the next day. And I'm gonna bring you guys along for it. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. All right, it's go time. Let's get this tree down. I am so sad about taking everything down. When we put Christmas decorations up, our house was still in the process of being moved into. So now once I take Christmas down, it is just going to be so bare. So I am definitely dreading that, but that just means we have a clean slate to start decorating. So right now the little ones are going to help me take all the decorations off of the tree. The ones that can just be thrown into the bucket, we're just going to throw right into the bucket right now. So like the ornaments, the wood ornaments, things like that. And then anything that is glass or the kids made, I'm going to pack special. So the ones that are glass are going to get bubble wrapped. And if you caught my Christmas decorate with me, I mentioned that I had saved all of our packing materials. So I'm going to be refreshing the ornaments packing material and then anything the kids made actually gets stored inside. I don't store that in the attic or in the shed. I actually keep that inside with me. So let's go ahead and get this tree stripped down. Yeah. Here's to the good days. Here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake. I know about tomorrow I don't want to fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just want to make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best so if you caught that, behind me, my husband is in his pajamas and his robe with his headphones on trying to start the fire. And I told him not to worry about it because I didn't really want to have to keep the fire going because he was planning to take the kids downstairs and get some work done. So you'll see the fire never truly becomes a fire and I end up doing most of this by myself but right now I save all of the little cardboard pieces the garland comes on and then I just go ahead and wrap it right back around it again that way I'm not dealing with a crazy mess the following year but do you catch Riley and Milo in the background like this is what I mean like my life is always chaos even if I try and like organize it and pre-plan it's always just chaos but right now we got all of the tree stuff put away and random squishies are everywhere. I do keep my stockings inside just because I don't want them to get discolored. And also do not forget to take your batteries out of anything that you put batteries in. So your garlands, your string lights, anything like that. That's why I love having the battery daddy because I could just stick them right back in the battery daddy and it even comes with like a battery checker so you can make sure the battery is still good. We are going to go ahead and get this mantle cleaned off even though I don't have anything to put back on the mantle. Oh my goodness, I'm a little overwhelmed of the thought of having to decorate an entire house now. But let's go ahead and get this mantle all dusted off. I do not remember this garland having glitter, but apparently it did because there are sparkles everywhere. I, you start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah. 
Have you ever had an idea and you just could not wait to see it come to life? Well, this was one of those ideas and I'm not really sure if it's a good idea. I was watching Michelle O'Malley's Christmas Decorate With Me back in like November and she has a massive tree. She has like really tall ceilings and her tree was in multiple bags. I'm always shoving all of my trees. Like if you saw me taking down all of my kid stuff, I always shove the trees back into these super, super small little boxes they come in. And with this tree, I always put it in the tree bag that it came with. And it also came with each section like wrapped. And so I put the tree back in the wrapper every year. And every year I spend so much time fluffing the tree. So I got this big bright idea to separate the parts of the tree. So I am going to be storing the first two sections in one bag and the second two sections in another bag, which now that I think about it, I probably should have done like one in four together and then two and three together just so the big one isn't with another big one, but it's all good. We'll see how it goes. So I'm interested to see if it's really going to be easier to fluff my trees next year. And I am only doing this because we have more space to store stuff. If you are new to the channel, we moved up from Florida in July and we just bought this house in October. So we are not used to having a basement and a shed and all of these extra areas. So if you do not have the extra space, do not sweat the small stuff. Just go ahead and pack it right up like you always do. I did not have the extra space. Our attic was small. Like, we didn't have a basement, obviously, so everyone has a different situation. So don't think because I am splitting my tree up into all these bags that you need to split your tree up or you need to add all these bins. I am only doing it because I have extra room and I'm interested to see if it is going to help with the fluffing. And I also had extra bins. I didn't have to go and buy the bins for the kids' room. I did buy the new tree bags. My King of Christmas tree bag is actually ripped, so I just went ahead and bought two new ones to replace that one. But right now, we got all the Christmas down, and it is time to just tidy up the living room really quick so that we can move into the dining room. And this is probably me procrastinating right now because that birthday room was a mess so pink and such a mess. So let's go ahead and get this living room straightened up real quick so that we can head into even more chaos. I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one. I see no reason why I should ever let you go. Mm. I don't want to wake up. Is that not one empty living room? But look at the cute puppies and the little baby on the couch. Okay, so we are making our way to the dining room right now because my goal was to do my two big projects and that was the Christmas tree and the dining room. So we are just going to pass by the bags of Christmas. We'll actually get those to the shed tomorrow, but we are going to just kind of close our eyes and walk through the kitchen into the dining room we do come back to the kitchen though, and that is actually the dresser that I'm going to be refinishing. It's at least in the house now though, and I'm afraid to take the tablecloth off because it is gross looking, but here is the birthday room, and we are going to go ahead and get this cute little dress-up station up to Mackenzie's bedroom, and we're just going to work our way through. I'm going to get the balloons down, the backdrop down, and we're going to do it together, so let's go.
it as a lesson Then maybe we should open up The sorrow of us The sorrow of us How did we end up here? It was very late when I was taking down the balloon garland, so I was trying to be extremely careful. So I was only cutting towards the bottom of the balloon just so a little air would start coming out so when the balloons would pop and make a really loud noise in the very quiet house it would scare me so bad so that is why you see me jumping and yes I do avoid those confetti balloons until the very end because if you have ever popped one of those balloons you know that it is a huge mess and of course I ended up popping one and I was not filming it got all in my mouth. Oh my goodness. I could not believe I was not filming when I did that. I had poked it with the scissors in between and my goodness, it made a mess. We used to laugh so hard. When did we stop loving, babe? When did it all go too far? Now that most of the birthday decor is down and put away, I'm going to go ahead and clean off this dresser top, well, buffet, and I'm going to keep that floor balloon because I still need to take her picture with it, and that box right there is a light fixture for in here. I am so excited to start decorating this house. I don't know where to start though. Like, I've bought a few things for our bedroom, I've bought a few things for the dining room, I've bought a few things for the living room, the kitchen. I gotta just like pick a space and go with it because right now I'm just collecting like items for each place and nothing is going to be complete. But I'm gonna go ahead and go through everything on this table and it is such weird stuff that I need to put away. I'm gonna go ahead and work through this really quick and then we're going to wipe the table down, vacuum the floors, and then head into the kitchen. <laughs> Hit you up, I'm on the other side I miss you, miss you 
Take you off, I came in way too strong Cannot keep it low key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets. It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Or oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Off my radar now I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up but I'm stuck on hold It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Did I really just do that? I sure did. I was getting so tired at this point and I ended up turning on my Kane Brown radio so you'll see me dancing for a lot of it and it looks really funny because it's in like sped up motion. I finally started to like get a little bit of energy towards the end so I was able to get the dishwasher running. I even decided to tackle the air fryer so you'll see after I clean the sink out, story of our life, right? After I already cleaned the sink out, I realized I need to just go ahead and clean out the air fryer. So I ended up putting dishes back into the sink, but you know what, we got it done, and that's all that matters. Talk to me, baby.
this is exactly what I mean with I've started collecting items to start decorating and I'm currently trying to choose between those two lamps. So actually let me know in the comments down below, do you like the smaller lamp in the front or do you like the bigger lamp in the back? I like the smaller lamp, but I like the size of the bigger lamp. I don't know. I keep going back and forth, but I finally have a vision for how I want my house to look, how I want my house to feel, and I am so excited to run with it. So definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button because we are going to start diving into decorating, and I am so excited to get my hands on this house. I ordered wallpaper for our powder bath like months ago and I'm still waiting for it to show up. So hopefully we'll have the wallpaper soon. I have some ideas for my dining room, my bedroom. I am seriously so excited. So definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications if you would like to follow along on this chaotic journey of mine. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without Oh, his eyes are killing me And he keeps talking about everything that he likes And I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough Think about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall officially time to call it a night so I'm gonna go ahead and set up the coffee maker turn on the timer for it and then I'm gonna get some stuff ready for the kids for school actually today because I finished well after midnight but thank you so much for hanging out with me I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it inspired you to just tackle the things you do not want to tackle. I promise you it will feel so good getting everything done. I'm not saying that something else is just going to kind of fill in the place of that, but hey, at least we got our stuff done tonight. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and for always being here with me. Thank you so much. I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Someone don't help you. When someone don't help you through the rain When feelings don't matter And everything's nothing but a game Game